I admit that I am not a fan of Delta Airlines. They are hugely anti-union, so much so that there's actually been federal investigations into their practices a couple of years ago. I haven't flown Delta in, I don't know, probably 10 years, 15 years. I can't remember the last time I flew Delta. I just don't do it. Fortunately, based on where I live and have lived, it hasn't really been a huge inconvenience not to fly Delta. But, but they've done something pretty interesting at a relatively low cost. Delta has reorganized some TSA screening lanes at its hub airport of Atlanta, Georgia, and the results have been fantastic. Now, the big picture is still that the TSA is a disaster. It's mostly security theater. Last year, I told you that 95 percent of banned objects were not caught by TSA agents during a big test that was done to see how good the TSA was at the micro level. The TSA is so inefficient that these huge bottlenecks are created. And uh, aside from the issues that are going on now in terms of staffing and lane closures, this is a real problem. You see slow people, Lewis, cause these huge bottlenecks at the TSA security lines. So in Atlanta, Delta made a few changes that hugely improved efficiency. Let's look at what those changes are. Uh, number one, they started using conveyor belts instead of agents to bring those empty trays back to where the line begins. You might be used to seeing that when there's no trays left for you to put your stuff into a TSA agent has to physically pick up and collect these trays and walk them back to the beginning of the line. Now they've set up conveyor belts in a few lanes in the Atlanta Delta terminal to speed that up. They've also set up five what they're calling divestment points where travelers can drop bags and move on. You'll often see that there's someone often an inexperienced traveler, somebody maybe with a bunch of kids or who knows what they take much longer to take their laptop out of their bag, presuming you don't have TSA pre check or whatever. And it holds up a number of people who are basically holding in their hands everything they need to drop off in the bin and it slows down the progress. So what they've done is set up the trays at five different points. So if there's someone at the front of the line holding up the line and you're 10 people back, there might be a spot there for you to put all your stuff in the tray and then you can skip everybody who is still working on putting their stuff in a tray and go through either the porno scanner or the metal detector. This has also sped up the process. And then number three, they've now set up an automated system. So normally when a bin or a, a pro, an item gets flagged and it needs to be inspected, it stays in the same line on the same conveyor belt. They separated it so that when an item now gets flagged, it's diverted to another area and you can keep progress going for the bins and the luggage that don't need to be uh, scanned. So those are the three changes they made, and it has had a drastic impact, Lewis. Now, the, the funniest thing about reading about this is the entire system was was and is so outdated that conveyor belts, a technology that first appeared in 1892 in its first form, was introduced and drastically sped up the process. A 19th century technology, Lewis, is what was added to the TSA to make it more efficient. Yes, um, but you know, this isn't going to solve the problem no, overall, right? Of course this not. is an improvement. Uh, the problem is, well, there are a number of problems. The big problem is we just haven't allocated the resources we need to to make sure that this happens more quickly and that it's more efficient. Is that would you agree with me? Yeah, on that? And sometimes it's a question of financial incentive, right? Delta makes money through efficiency. If people start missing flights by the tens of thousands, as we've seen happen in some places, the airlines now have to rebook people. It's a it's a nightmare for the airlines. The TSA makes their living hosting security theater. They don't have the same incentive to care about efficiency beyond the fact that legislators could get really angry and tell them to put it, get it, you know, to get it together. Delta's income depends on doing this. So no surprise that some relatively simple changes made a drastic difference. I don't know what to tell you. The entire thing is just a total disaster. It is. Yeah. As long as we are going to have this crappy security system, uh, let's at least maybe take some money out of uh, other types of defense spending right. and put it into this so that people can get where they need to go.